forget my time, Honorable Chair. The democratic government was bequeathed with, amongst other things, well-established and functioning SOEs. Guess what you did, the ANC, with ESCOM, SAA, SA Express, Petro SA, PRASA, South African Post Office, SABC, Transnet, to mention just a few. The corrupt ANC government systematically obliterated each of these entities, some to extinction, whilst others are a, show, are a shadow of their former glory, costing a taxpayer a fortune. The failed ANC government gives credence to unfounded stereotypes that blacks cannot govern and South Africa will be just another failed typical African state. Many South Africans go to bed without food. Others are losing their jobs on a daily basis. Business are closing due to load shedding. It is it not shameful the Minister of Arts and Culture, um, despite all of this, wanted to spend 22 million rands on a 100-meter tall flag. To add, in, to, add, to add insult to injury, South African tourism wants to sponsor Tottenham Hotspur by a nearly one billion rands. These are nothing else but a waste of taxpayers' money by a government that is out of touch with the hardships of its citizens. Mr. President, your cadres in the Eastern Cape municipalities have taken rot, maladministration, and corruption to new heights. Public infrastructure is, in many municipalities, either near or completely collapsed. And Inokum Gijima is leading the pack. Shortly before 2021 local government elections, in an attempt by the ANC to get votes, a pomp ribbon cutting event for the official opening of a 15 million rand stadium in Komani badly backfired. It later transpired that, in fact, this goat track called Lesseton Sports Field was costing about 22 million. In February 2022, the cash strapped Inokum Gijima was at it again. This time, they had awarded a tender to construct a mere 6.7 kilometers of road at a cost of 97 million. Industry experts will tell you the cost of constructing one kilometer of road will cost you just over a million rands. These days, after shaking an ANC member's hand, you better count your fingers just in case one, if not all of your fingers, are missing. <laughs> Honorable members, let me be clear. The collapse of infrastructure in our municipalities is as a result of a corruption perpetrated with impunity by the ANC. However, it is not, it is not all doom and gloom in the Eastern Cape. As the saying goes, every dark cloud has a silver lining. A democratic alliance government in Koka municipality is that silver lining. Having inherited a bankrupt municipality from a corrupt ANC administration in 2016, the late executive mayor Elza van Lingen, together with her team, rolled up their sleeves, got stuck in to clean up an ANC mess. Whilst the country is suffering from load shedding with no plans in place for the, from the governing party except the Minister of Electricity. The executive mayor of Koha municipality, Horatio Hendricks, and his team is aiming to be less dependent from ESCOM. Our government will be undertaking a six-month feasibility study to determine viability of alternative means of renewal, renewable energy and power generation by independent power producers. This study will be completed by the end of June. Koha has been hard as hit, honorable as members. Move towards closing, honorable Koha members. has been hard as hit, honorable members, by the longest drought, and they are working all out to provide clean and drinkable water for their, for, 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 for their citizens. Your time, honorable President, your time is up. Start clearing up your desk in union buildings. Your time is up. John Bullygate wants the keys. 
Siamangena.